Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can add a jump animation into our game. Because as, as of right now when you run forwards and then jump you can see it's going to continue to play the walking animation. And the reason why it's doing that is because we have not set up a jump state in the animation blueprint. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you remember, if we go into the blue, uh, main blueprints folder, open up our character animation blueprint, which we've currently set to sword underscore and BP, open this up, just give it a couple of seconds, you're gonna see we only have states for idle, and we also have a state for running, and that is pretty much all we're gonna be able to go between. So if I go into my main state machine, we've got idle, movement and then we've got our sword attacking what we need to do is essentially add a state for um, jumping sort of between the idle and the movement something that it can go to if the character is falling and if the engine detects the player is in the air at the moment it's really simple and really easy to set up so let's go ahead and jump in so first things first we want to make sure we've got an animation for the jump now as part of the project files if you've downloaded them from my website you are going to find that we have an animation called sword and shield jump for this character so if you can open Open it up you can see we have got a full jump cycle here so all we've got to do is tell it to play this one animation now typically when you're working on a jump animation you would have a jump start a jump loop and a jump end and that's going to allow you to pretty much have it for variable lengths now because we only have this one animation and it's a full sequence we're just going to tell it to play the one animation either way this is all game uh, all good um, anyway, so the blend space will fix up any issues, but the important thing is we are going to have our character jumping up and down when you press the space button or if they are falling. So let's go ahead and do this. So open up our animation blueprint and then from within here, what we need to do is go to our main event graph and then as the character, as the sword character, we need to get the character movement component. So uh, type in get character movement see if we can find it in the little drop down list and as this ca uh, character movement we essentially need to get is falling so bottom at the here over here variables character get character movement and then is this uh, with this drag this out and type in is falling and get a reference to this and then with this what we need to do is pretty much feed this into a variable called is falling and then if we just promote is falling over here to a variable and then just use is falling so if you promote it it's going to create you a new variable you don't want to do that so instead delete this delete this and then grab your is falling and tell it to set that and then for the condition over here for the boolean well not the condition but for the information for this boolean hook it up to is falling just like that now once we've done this we can move over to our state machine and we can start to create the jump state now what i'm going to do for this is i don't want the player to be able to attack and jump at the same time so i'm going to go to idle and i'm going to drag this out over at the bottom here and add a state i want to call this jump and i'm also going to allow the character to go from the movement state as well to jump not making any connections to the sword attack so once I've done this with my jump and I've got connections going from idle to jump and movement to jump, I want to go back as well, so drag back and do the same thing to movement as well, just like that. So now what we need to do is open up our jump state and we need to feed it an animation. So what we're going to do is go for our little search bar in the top right here in my asset browser, type in jump and then you can see we have got two. Now we have got one for the sword character and another one for the sword character and we don't know which one is which. So what we're going to have to do is open up our animations folder, type in jump and see if we can figure out if there's any issues or differences between the two. So opening up the first one, you can see it's jumping, it's a bit wilder. And this one also sort of does the same thing. Um, so I'm just going to go with this one here, jump without the in place. The in place one looks a little bit quicker if you notice. So I'm just going to use the normal one. 
So moving back into my animation blueprint, I'm just going to find my normal jump, hook this up just like that, compile it, and now what we need to do is go back to our state machine and set up the transitional rules. These transitional rules, like I've mentioned previously, they are going to tell the engine when it should and should not go into the animation states. So starting off with idle to jump, what I'm going to do is open this up and then from there I'm going to get a reference to my is falling and then with is falling I'm just going to type in equal boolean and hook this up to here. So what this is going to do now if I check this is if is falling is true it's going to move to the jump state and I'm going to copy this because I pretty much want to do the same thing from movement. If is falling is true you want to tell it to start jumping. Now, with this still copied, you want to do the same thing for going back to idle. So with it to go back from jump to idle, paste this in. But this time, we want it to go back if is falling is not true. So uncheck this. And then go over here and do the same thing for going to movement as well. Uncheck it and hook it up just like this. Now notice you've got these errors in the bottom uh, in the compiler results. Ignore those as soon as we compile they're going to disappear and we're all good. Now if we press play, hopefully if I jump, you can see it plays my jump animation and we are all there. So that's pretty much our jump animation all set up for that. Now notice the jump is a bit quick at the moment, so sometimes it almost will try and play it twice. So what you might want to do with your jump is just control the speed within the animation itself. So open up your animation, within your animations folder and I'm going to set my rate scale which is essentially the speed so if I set this to something like 6 it's going to go super fast set it to 0.5 it's going to go a bit slower the number I'm going to work with is 0.8 and you'll notice that's going to find you're going to find it's a bit smoother when you press play it doesn't start to play it twice or anything like that and also when you jump up onto something you'll find sort of like animation smoothing will fix any issues you have with that as well. Anyway, so the one for the sword character is all good. Now what I'm going to do is pretty much just go back and do the same thing for my magic based character as well. So once again, I'm going to open up my animation blueprint, I'm going to go to my states, and I'm going to add it in here. Once again, we're going to be ignoring all the attack stuff and just putting it into the walk running and the idle. So first things first, from idle, add a state, Call this jump, same thing for this as well, hook it up just between there and also you want it to be able to go back. Once we've done this we need to be able to set up the transitional rules but for that we need the is falling variable. So go to your event graph as the magic character, with this you want to get character, get character movement, if I can spell it correctly, it's going to be all the way down at the bottom. And then with this, you want to drag it out, promote it to a variable, and simply call it, um, sorry, no, you don't want to do that. Um, get is falling first. So character movement, we need to get falling. So let's have a look, as magic character, character movement, get fall is falling. There we go, and with this, you want to promote this to a variable, making sure it's a boolean, and set this to is falling, and we are good there. So what we can do with this now is hook this up to the rest of the stuff where it's feeding in the information to our variables. Go back to the states, go to idle to jump, with this, get is falling, drag this out, and equal. Because this is going from idle to jump, we want to make sure this is checked and set to true. Copy this, do the same thing for going from walk, run to jump, paste this in, and then same thing for going back to this, so we need to make sure it's unchecked this time, hook it up to there, and over here as well, and if we just uncheck that, we should be all good, and now if we just test this with our magic character as well, by simply going to default pawn class, and then just set this to our magic character, press play, and if we jump now, you can see at the moment it doesn't play any animation, that's because we didn't put one in there, but the state is working fine for jumping anyway, so open up your eve underscore bp, 
go to Eve States, open up Jump, and you can see we've got no information in here. So simply in the asset browser, type in Jump, and then just look for your jumping animation. Hit Compile, and then in the Anim Preview Editor, just press Is Falling, and you can see it, see it playing its jump animation. Press Play again, Jump, and you can see it's doing what it needs to do. Now bear in mind the jump does look a bit slow so once again what we're gonna do is find that jump animation and we are just gonna control the speed within here. So if you remember it was a bit slow for me so I'm gonna set this to something like 0 0.3 instead so it's a bit quicker. Press play and you can see it looks a bit better. Now you can see there's a bit of lag sort of between when you press the button and when it actually lifts off and that is because in my little animation timeline here you can see we got quite a few frames sort of over here maybe about half a second before it actually jumps off the ground so what I'm going to do is find a nice little position uh, like this uh, maybe about 0 0.15 seconds I'm going to remove some frames so I'm going to move from frame 0 to frame 4 and that's pretty much just going to get rid of some of that little lag and you can see it looks a li little bit better but now it's just way too fast so set this to something more reasonable 1.2 maybe press play and you can see that is looking a little bit better anyway that's pretty much everything for our jump animations I hope you guys have enjoyed it our characters are going to be looking a lot better now once again as usual guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your Boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.